So I like to post videos to kind of help people out. Um, this video is not really anything that pertains to my channel, but uh, I have here a 2017 Chevy Equinox. I'm going to be replacing the liftgate strut, the actual power one on the driver's side. So let me just give you an idea of what it looks like. So when you receive a new one, it's gonna come like this with the power connector and it's gonna have this little yellow thing right here. So on the driver's side, you follow it down and you go to the corner right here, it's gonna have this little uh, plastic clip along with the rubber plug, which is this guy right here. So pretty much what you wanna do is you wanna unclip it from here. There's a couple of clips on it and you can kind of see them right there. There's two on each side, so it's four total. And then on the inside, what you wanna do is you wanna remove the two bolts here and here. They're both star bolts, which are gonna be these guys right here, the little brackets. Then you're gonna to wanna to take off the little SRS plug or the cap. There's a small bolt in there, it's a size seven. There's also another one up in that corner there where the seat belt's at. Uh, you wanna remove that as well. It's the same thing as this one, the SRS. You remove the little uh, clip, or I'm sorry, the plug. And then there's a screw behind it. And then in here, the wire is gonna get traced down along the back side and it's gonna plug into this module right here that you're gonna see. It's the only one that you're gonna see right here up on top. Um, it's gonna be the one that's towards the, the rear well. You're gonna see that there's two plugs. It's hard to get in there because the lighting, but there's gonna be that plug right here in the back, right here. That's gonna be the white plug. In this case, it's gonna be, yeah, it's a white plug. The stock one is the white plug. The new one is gonna come with the gray one. So don't get confused with that. They're not the same color, but it's still gonna be the second connector. Um, there's gonna be a bunch of these little clips along the, uh, the frame or the uh, inside panel. Uh, you're just gonna wanna either break them off or you're gonna um, pretty much break them off because the new one comes with new ones. It's gonna route from the top corner, down along the side, clipped in, and then it's gonna plug into that module. So pretty much all you have to do is remove the strut from the outside, removing these clips right there and here, and then you can replace the strut. The hardest part about this is the electrical connector. So all you have to do is follow it like I just showed you, and that should be pretty much it. And then obviously for the reverse uh, installation is reverse uh, order of this plug everything back in, pop the clips back in, um, try your hardest not to break the plastic clips on this guy, because then you're gonna have a separation of the two plastics in here, and that's not what you want. So you wanna try to keep them all together, pop everything in, and that's pretty much it. Hopefully this tutorial helps. Um, it should be the same for, I wanna say from a 2010 Equinox LT all the way up into 2017 at least, so that's what I have. Um, this is for the liftgate power uh, strut and the passenger doesn't have power and it's just a uh, regular um, strut, but it also has a GM number that you need to get. So it's, you can't just go to like O'Reilly's and pick one up. It's not the same. It has to be like this thick type right here. Anyways, I'm hoping this helps out people. Um, if you have any questions, just comment down below. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Anyways, thank you for watching.